Welcome back to Lab Rat Scientific. In this episode, I want to teach you how to build your own simple little experimental carts. Before we get started, let's take a look at some examples. Here's an example of some of the carts I used in my experiments. This cart employs a rubber band to allow me to shoot blocks of wood off it so I can investigate things like Newton's laws. These two carts interact with each other so I can investigate things like conservation of energy or conservation of momentum. Now this cart is a rocket cart. I can put a CO2 cartridge in here and shoot it down a track and investigate things like rocket propulsion and Newton's laws. Now I want to show you the materials you'll need to build some of these carts. These are the materials and the tools we'll need to make this cart. I've got a craft board I bought at Lowe's. It's a half inch thick and four inches wide. The width you want to buy will depend on how wide you want to make your cart. I've got a slightly thinner craft board. This one's 3 8 inch thick and I'll use this for the wheels. I've got a quarter inch oak wood dowel for the two axles and a piece of wood lattice to serve as the side rails for the base of the cart. I'm going to make the wheels using this two inch diameter hole saw. In the middle of the hole saw there's a quarter inch diameter bit. That's the same diameter as my axle so once I cut the wheels out I'll be able to simply insert the wood dowel into the disc and uh, they'll fit really nice. Now, in the side rails, I need a slightly larger diameter hole. So I've got a 5 16 inch drill bit I'll use to make those. You'll also need a T-square for marking your boards. You'll need a tape measure. You'll need a small hammer. You'll need four or six small nails. You'll need some white glue. You'll need a pencil for marking the boards. Some sandpaper. A uh, drill. And your jigsaw to cut out the boards. And last but not least, you'll need safety glasses to protect your eyes. So let's head over to the workshop and cut out some materials. Okay, so let's start off by making the main frame of the cart. I'm going to make the length seven inches long. I'll just mark that with my tape measure. And take my square and grab a line. I'll put on my safety glasses and I'll just cut it out with my jigsaw. Okay, so there's the base plate. So now I want to make the, the side rails. So we'll mark them the same way. Seven inches long. Take my square, make a nice square line across, put on my safety glasses, using the jigsaw again, go ahead and cut off the rail. So do that a second time to get the second rail. Now I just want to clean up my pieces a little bit with some sandpaper. Just take off the rough edges, round things off a little bit. Do that to the base and the rails. And those are good to go. Now I want to make the two axles. Now I need to cut this a little bit long to begin with. My cart is four inches wide, plus the rails, plus the wheels. So I'm going to make my axle about five and a half inches long at this point. So I'll mark that off. I'm just going to cut this with a hacksaw because the material is relatively thin. It can be a little awkward. There you have it. Repeat that a second time for the second axle. And we'll be good to go. Now I'll cut out the wheels. I've got my material here and I got an old 2x4 to protect my saw horse so I don't drill into it. I've got my hole saw onto my drill. Got my safety glasses on. Now you need to be a little careful. Uh, this drill can jerk around and uh, gets a little dicey so you guys be very careful and go slow. So I'll put it here and go ahead and cut the wheel. <laughs> There you have it. Now I have 
take my hole saw apart to get the disc out, but I have the first wheel cut. Just repeat that three more times and I'll have all four wheels. Now the wheels might be kind of rough, so you have to do quite a bit of sanding. So just uh, do the same sort of thing on your sandpaper to smooth them out. Be careful not to sand any flat spots on the wheels. Get rid of all the fuzzy edges and round things off. And make them as smooth as possible and keep them as round as possible. So now I can begin some assembly. The first step is to drill the holes in my side rails. First, I taped both side rails together so I could drill one set of holes and they'd be perfectly matched up on each side. I also marked arrows on each side of the rails which indicate forward on my cart so when I reassemble this I can make sure my holes are lined up properly. Now, I also marked a line indicating the thickness of my cart base on the side rails. So now I know I don't drill on the wrong side. And I measured in a half inch from that line, so it's essentially between that line and the edge of the rail, and an inch from the ends of the rails. Now those aren't really important, but I like things somewhat centered and all that, so that's what I chose. Now what I want to do is take a nail and poke a hole a little bit into each of those locations where I want to drill. And simply take my drill, placing my side rails on a scrap piece of wood so I don't drill into my table. And I carefully drill in the side rails. Now I have those two holes. Do that again on this side. So now I have the holes for my axles. And as you see, if I put my axle in there, they fit in there pretty clean. And uh, now what I need to do is Clean up those holes so there's plenty of clearance and they're nice and smooth. And we'll go on to the next step. So now I'm ready to attach the side rails. The first thing I did though was to uh, mark the hole location of both my side rails onto my base and then drew a line across there and that allowed me to sight in my axle to make sure things are lined up once I get things assembled. So I'm going to simply put a little bit of glue on the edge of the uh, base plate with my arrow in one specific direction, I place it onto the uh, base plate here. Once I get things lined up well, I simply drive my nails in. Now what I've done is I pre-started these nails to make it a little bit easier for me to assemble. And then repeat that for the other side rail. So now I have both side rails attached to my base. And I, uh, before I nailed things together finally, I uh, put my axle in and sighted along my reference line on the bottom of the base plate to make sure my axle was nice and perpendicular to the frame. It was. I got things nailed up. Now the next step is to add the wheels to the axles. Now I want to do one wheel to an axle at a time. So I put just a little bit of white glue on the axle and then insert it into the hole in the wheel. And since my center hole on my hole saw was a quarter inch and my axle is a quarter inch, it should go right in there and fit snugly. I want to place that axle and wheel into the cart and jostle around to make sure that the wheel is nice and parallel to the side frame. And that uh, allows me to make sure it's on there straight. And I can do the same thing to the other axle. Now you don't need much glue because they'll hold on, they're not under much force. Do the same sort of thing. Put the wheel and axle in, make sure it's nice and parallel to the side frame, and turn straight. Now I can set those aside and let them dry. Now I can complete the assembly. I've got four washers it happens to fit over the axles, and this will keep the wheels away from the side rails and they'll spin better. So I place a washer on each of those axles. And I want to insert the wheel and axle into the body, put another washer on that wheel, then place just a small amount of glue 
on the axle. Don't use too much. And simply press the other wheel onto the axle. You might want to have some pliers handy to be able to grip the axle and push the wheel up to the edge of the frame. Now you don't want it too tight. You want a little bit of play so it'll spin freely. And repeat the other wheel and axle. A little bit of glue. Put the wheel on. Grip with the pliers if necessary. Slide the wheel on. Up close to the frame, but again not snug. So it spins freely. And there you have it. First experimental cart. You can make several of these. Make them wider. Make them however you need them and it'll uh, work out really well. So I took my hacksaw and cut off the excess axle and sanded things up and made it nice and neat. And now my cart's ready to roll, literally. Well, that'll do it for this episode. I hope you join me next time for Lab Rat Scientific.